Okay, we are back with Miles Edgeworth 2. I reviewed the notes from last episode, but we're at the start of a new case, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna try to find another natural stopping point this time. I'll go over my notes after this opening cutscene. Prison turnabout. I appreciate the effort by the uh, fan localization team to mirror a lot of the localization choices of the earlier Phoenix Wright games. Interesting. Lots of ellipses. Get your cravat in a twist. Horace Knightley is a pretty great name. Nightly's been murdered. Honey. It's the guy from the previous case. The previous case was that the president of Zung Fa organized a fake assassination attempt to boost his popularity. Uh, one of his bodyguards murdered another bodyguard, though. And at the same time, uh, Shelly to Killer was using the opportunity of there being a fake assassination to arrange her real assassination. We're still learning about. They're in interrogation rooms, right? Okay. This facility has been here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Rocks. Incredible. Okay, I see a chess set. I see a glove. How could this have possibly happened? No place safer for inmates than a prison. had his trial yet. Got it. Huge metal doors in a long hallway. Thank you. stuff. Won't rest until we've stolen every suspicious looking nook and cranny.
somehow I had a feeling. It's a cage inside the cage that is a prison. It's like cageception. Colorful sheets. I was actually kind of looking at the whip, but... There we go. The vampire killer. I love how we're not gonna like care about the whip. Just the loud sheets. No need for that now. Okay, it's the bottom part of it. Gotcha. What else we got to look at here? Take a closer look. What about the chess. What's this? Portable chessboard. Second, let's look at everything else first. There's no mistake. Covered in mud to the wrists. Smart. That would have been a cool logic deduction, but I don't know how they would have done it with the logic mechanics in game. You there. Weird place to keep them. Covered in blood and mud. Sheet is bright red. on his head. Oh yeah, the fancy camera. But oh, not that camera, okay. Dirt stain. Bruises on his head. Has a chest tie. He's just like me, sir.
expensive ring. Didn't do anything yet. Bush just wouldn't let you repeat the ones you've already seen, you know? I think it tells me when I'm done, but I don't see anything else to look at here. someone else's valuables. I think that's everything, so it might be logic time. Should just be a dog in here. Please don't trip and fall in the dirt. Poor gun shoe. So I think I have to click stuff here. Connect the bloody sheets with the stack sheets, right? Same as the bloodstain sheet. So love that that's his superpower. Noticing things. Basic logic. Very colorful. What else we gotta do in here? Invincible Trio. What is missing? The murder weapon? to barge in like this. There's some gays. Gray shields. Guess again. I do like all the different detective characters we get now in these games. Looks okay. Oh, he's an attorney. Oh, 
how everyone has to dance around her just admitting to being a thief. This in Europe, after all. <laughs> Dare he violate American standards of personal space? Hold it. At Zoomies, Ben. He called himself an ace attorney, too. What you got for me, Ray Shields? brought him a California roll. Okay. <laughs> they gave us a little sprite for that. That is a thing of the past. About the victim. A little square, scare quotes gestures. Yeah, what do you think? Quiz for our prodigy prosecutor. Wouldn't expect any of those three, right? Like, it was like the the, <laughs> the dog room, maybe. The lecture room certainly doesn't make sense. they're like entertainingly calling it like jokingly calling it the entertainment room okay well that wasn't an answer he gave the three choices okay that makes more sense doing like a meta thing there. Doesn't use locks or keys, the doors are equipped with sensors. Wee you, wee you, wee you. <laughs> okay. This is a fucked up prison.
Cat has zoomies right now, I'm like trying to knock things over. Dream suddenly dies, or my webcam gets disconnected, that's why. Just unplugged one of my monitors. sensor data. It wasn't an inmate who did it. Hey Charles, how you doing? Something that shouldn't exist. The logic option now. Okay, uh, so organizer, oh, I can do deduce from this screen. Yes, it's the bracelet thing, right? Door sensor, I guess. Eureka! Can you give it to me? Hooray! I always get stressed out when it has me do those. <laughs> Wasn't an inmate. I did, I really liked Aviary Attorney. Way better than Phoenix Raid. The dogs. over the top rocks <laughs> what the fuck I love the like photorealistic cat I like it. I like when it, Ace Attorney goes like as goofy as possible. Very quick gumshoe. Right. 
There should be a log. Since the animals aren't criminals. Is that ironic? It's ironic if you expect that animals would be caged. Okay, yeah. in the opening cutscene. What a dog. We didn't get a dog breakdown animation. and lose. <laughs> of course, Edgeworth is bad with dogs. everyone related to the case. Who's Ray and wanting to hug? They came up with the animals as a way to distinguish them from the prisoner uniforms. This man is clearly odd. Thank you, Edward. Jailbird, got it. Fun. Pet polar bear. Famously domesticated species. Like I said, the, the more goofy they go, the better, in my opinion. Yeah, I could be the boxer. Oh yeah, logic chess. I forgot about this. Direct confrontation would be... See. 
So your superpower in Logic Chess is ellipsising people. Welcome to the war that is chess. I'll just keep waiting until... Too passive, okay. Oh, okay, based on his animation. Now I can enter, okay, I gotcha. Well trained boxer. Getting a little tired? That's not possible. <laughs> it's such a stupid mini game. I love it. Very Dragon Ball. around so we gotta wait okay, so he's not doing his combat stance but like how did you know I'm a prosecutor does the robot give it away in this universe the hit. Just like in chess, each each piece has a certain number of hit points. Uh, we already asked that, so try the second one. Focus since he's not doing his stance. Yeah, I was I was making a joke. Too exercising, right? Because he still isn't dancing. Just ate a counter. So he's still not in his fighting stance. This seems more interesting. About to hit the mat. And again, just like chess, shatters his piece. Checkmate. <laughs> it's 
so stupid. I love it. I think I like this series more as it understands what it is. I think early on I was frustrated by Phoenix Wright because it it was silly from the beginning, but it still kind of veered into taking itself somewhat seriously. It needs to go like maximum camp, I think. Which logic chess is that? That person. Recreation time ended around 10 a.m. I returned to this room and went straight to my training. Just as I'd counted to two, I heard a voice shout out, Arg, I've been stabbed. Sounded like someone in pain calling out for help. I couldn't do anything since I was locked up in my cell, so I went back to my training. It all seems fine. Yeah, I guess the shout is... <laughs> Very specific and weird. Plier? Gross. Edgeworth is just like full of boxing references. Straight out of uh, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. <laughs> room and I went straight to my training. Build up stamina and rhythm, I jump rope. He's a weight I'll gladly bear. I've been stabbed. Well, I can't activate those with the shoulder buttons, okay. And they say that he like got stabbed in the neck and couldn't even cry out because he died instantly. Said, 
died instantly. Yeah, let's try that. I do have to click present. My voice clearly. It looks like we're all right. It was showing uh, Columbo, the first episode that was directed by Steven Spielberg to uh, my sister in law and brother in law when they were in town, and they described seeing Columbo harass the Criminal is being really similar to Phoenix Wright. Obviously the way around, right? But you enjoy this, you should watch Columbo. It's really, really good. They have the equivalent of like breakdowns. this guy's animal. What a great scream. Pretty good, actually. I mean, Columbo's not a cartoon, so. <laughs> but seeing the rich assholes that he busts, like, slowly lose their cool is pretty fun. There's gotta be a problem, if you didn't ask me. See here, Columbo. Yes. It's a little, little wheel spinning side thing here. fan recordings for those that are like suspiciously higher quality than everything else. They try to put like a bit crush thing on it. Like a super judge. Oh, is she the warden? <laughs> Ridiculous Castlevania costume. Justine Courtney. Wow, this comes from the, the same, I guess you went to different law school than the other judge. Or his surfer brother, Canadian brother.
She's already way more interesting than the dumb judge is. Assembly comprised of 11 members. They did set this up a little bit earlier. people not fit to be prosecutors. Pretty good name. Sebastian de Best. The idiot hair. our new youngest prosecutor. We just gotta keep going until we get a like a fetal prosecutor. God. Yeah, he's totally on the case because he happened to be nearby when it happened. <laughs> it's a Phoenix Wright jurisdiction. Edgeworth is allowed to have jurisdiction over anything if he feels like he should. That sounds like that's the letter of the law.
the animals are just still there the whole time. Person. Know that she's not that person. Yes, please. Seems kind of fair. I think the fucking Patriots in that picture. have investigation rights. <laughs> That's the suspects. Really? Okay, if you say so. We're just talking to him as visitors. If I were the judge, though, I'd be pretty mad about this. Screechy voice. See no evil, hear no evil thing. Speak no evil. Simon Keys, like some monkeys.
Tell me about yourself. Regular employee of what? Hey, sir, how you doing? Okay. Chessboard? This chessboard? Oh, it's got monkey drum in the song, too. You're wrong, Edgeworth. It is exciting to open a box. Sure, opening it's gonna matter. Yeah, let's see. Anything else in there? Just the pieces, as far as I can tell. This is probably what they want me to present. He was, he was Horse Knight, was his name. He looked like a knight. Best friends. try to endear you to the person you're defending. It's like, there's a correlation between how, like, unflappable and invincible a character seems and how likely they are to be guilty of a crime. Got me. 
Yes. I'm a fly. Okay. As prosecutor, I shall offer my assistance in proving your innocence. Helping the suspect is a defense attorney's job, pal. It doesn't matter what Mr. Edgeworth's job is. <laughs> All right, monkey man. away. Eat free, live free, in prison. Pretty great sign. With the in prison at the end. General scumbag, apparently. Shy monkeys. Resort to that method. I honestly don't know if there's a more natural way to preserve the ambiguity of something. It comes off as very Japanese sounding. That method, that man, those that thing, right? This is pretty well done for a fan translation. That aspect. <laughs> Ooh, 
That was very common just in this series in general, the official ones. And in a lot of games translated from Japanese, but I think it stands out mostly here because they like try to intentionally make things ambiguous so that the player can feel smart for knowing who they're talking about. Yeah, they were able to reproduce the voice of the official translations pretty well, I think. And that man. They said it. <laughs> Gregory Edgeworth. Other more different that man tricked you. Prosecutor Edgeworth. No, wait. Miles. X no Y is also a pretty common sentence structure, it seems like. Like as a way to emphasize something, you know. Five, no six. Besides, that he's calling him by his first name. The only thing that stood out as fan translation -y is the Inception joke a little bit earlier, but they've mostly resisted stuff like that. I guess the main games have pop culture references. sign. Animals standing around. Much better once it's full camp like that.
remarkable feat of quickness that would put a great thief to shame. The Warden Patricia Rowland. Oh, patrol. Cute. The game of trying to figure out what's the pun. It's one of the living animals in the jail. Exactly when the body was discovered, of course it was. Humans who are treated like animals in here. Even have a pony. must I behave like a common criminal? At the cat? Weirdly photorealistic cat? your chance to pet the cat. Scaredy cat, even though you're an adult? changed.
Frank saw it. Okay. I don't know what that one's referencing. Frank saw uh, wit. Very specific surname. Saw it, maybe? Become a pet groomer. Animal beautician. He's from the first game? Okay, uh, that was so far in the past, I completely wiped all of this from my head. Logic chess. So we have to wait if he's like simpering. The true poker face. How he phrases his words, okay. Because yeah, the last guy was do it based on his animations. I wonder if this is another one where, like, the way he speaks or the politeness level would give away whether you're supposed to press or not. You involved with the case. Never dream of being involved in a murder plot. Right, model citizen. I guess I'll wait. You're only supposed to wait when they're weak, I think. Too passive. Okay, I don't know why yet. Upright model system would have never ended up behind bars. That's a nice dream. Okay, I see. I don't know a damn thing. Now he's now we wait. Gotcha. like that you have different strategies for different characters. Great. Time to explode his chess piece. on the day of the murder. So let's focus on his movements. We did some damage to his piece, just like chess.
into the screen. Judging from the circumstances. Still not. Wait. to the prison now, right? Because I already did the other one. I've almost depleted the bishop's hit points. But she said, you heard a scream. Okay. Ridiculous. Lion. Okay, now we wait. It's interesting that you have to use the shut your mouth superpower when they show their weakness instead of pressing when they show their weakness. I like it. Frightened is an uncommon occurrence. The scream, I guess? Is that what we're talking about? Not clear on why that one's progress, but... Starting to show his true colors. I just asked him about the screen, but okay. Give him a taste of the futility of keeping a secret from me. Uh, who did the screen below? Oh shit. It's the analog stick by accident. Shut up! Okay. Let's wait and see. They did a good job of localizing this. I wonder if it originally had the clue at the beginning about uh, paying attention to how he's saying things. You didn't see the show, did you? I love that they commit to this like ridiculous logic chess thing and then decide after the fact that chess isn't exciting enough. So they have to make chess more exciting. Uh, let's try to the screen belong to. Let's try using that clue. I guess whenever you have orange text, you should always select it. I'm just waiting for him to be a dick. Speak impolitely. I'll make you hear a scream. Do you mean the victim scream?
you're the one who got murdered. <laughs> what a great option. So these first few ones have been a little wheel spinny, right? Where it's like they're having to give us mini games to discover basic facts about the case. But as we've said in Miles Edgeworth 1 and in the last episode of this game, like there's kind of a gradient of how wheel spinny the individual puzzles are, right? I really like the first case in this one. We'll see how this one ends up panning out later. Some good initial clues, I thought. Probably my biggest criticism of Phoenix Wright as a series is that it feels like they have like a, a spec sheet of the number of puzzles that need to exist in between different scenes and like parts of the, the case rather than just saying, you know, what, we don't have a good puzzle here. We're just going to skip to the next step, right? Like, no, 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 we got to fill time. Sometimes they do a really good job of filling time. But I think sometimes they just come up with a case concept that like really only has three interesting parts and they'll still stretch it to nine or whatever because they feel like they have to. I guess the best cases for me are the ones where like all nine or however many subparts there are are all good and feel motivated. Just a signifier of being a mastermind, yeah, I kinda got that sense. skills. There's a small window on the door. I saw him lying there. A man not moving. Dead. Wailed in fright and found myself letting out a scream. Workroom B. Time today, 7 a.m., noon, and 9 p.m. Right when the animal show started. <laughs> the animal show is great. contradiction is. Hold it. Press everything, I guess. Or I am a model prisoner. <laughs> Just like that. Hold it. 
Is there like no window? Okay. We're not implying that it's messed up because he's in the hallway instead of the workroom B, right? That would be kind of dumb. So I'm lying there. Tell he was dead through that window? Shame to admit it, but it's as you say. <laughs> Perfect. when you get scared. Okay, so I didn't get anything out of pressing. The only thing I can think is, like, why was he in the hallway, right? I went up to the door. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. Um... How did he get out of this room? Floor plans or is there a better thing? Prisoners can't remove freely. Okay, it's probably that. Objection! Music cutout's probably good. Health bar went away, I think we're okay. Please stop telling such feeble lies. <laughs> Like if, like on a scale of one to ten, if ten is a really clever thing that someone paying attention would notice, and one is like a trivial observation, that one was probably like a three. <laughs> I guess they try to do like a like a deduction difficulty curve within cases as well. It would make sense if like the entire first case was all trivialities, just to kind of like teach you the, the mechanics of the game. They usually try to have the last thing you deduce be the most interesting or challenging thing. I like it when they lie about something that's not like trivial to verify. <laughs> And with the bracelet stays in the room, you can step out without sounding the alarm. Oh, okay. Okay, press. Got it. Easy. you enjoy such a thing. Well, 
why would you do something so troublesome and potentially dangerous? problem with that statement? Probably. Otherwise it wouldn't ask me. Okay. I guess that's fair. And as someone with no prosecutorial powers, that's completely useless. I will be frank with you. Always being frank with me. I saw a dog. Black dog was biting into the neck of the victim. He was like, actually trying to drag him away safely. Truly hellish scene. Man eating dog inside the zoo of a prison. I really like that dog's portrait. I doubt one would be able to lie about something like that. <laughs> Blonde hair. So it was covered in blood. unpleasant experience with a defense attorney in the past. Thanks for telling me he was from the first game. I didn't remember him at all. Hold it. Kind of need to know, okay. Already dead, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Just trying to drag him. His hands move nary an inch. How terrible. What were you expecting, Kay? It's like the, the devs are uncomfortable with the level of detail they have to go into with this one for their puzzle. I was formerly a newspaper salesman. I had to quickly identify what a customer wanted based on his appearance and attitude. <laughs> I did see the ring in the crime scene. That 
that really possible? Okay, so we got to present on the last thing. Eh? Completely defeats the purpose of the animal therapy. I thought he was saying perhaps I should ask the dog. So it has to be among the new things they added, right? This is the one that it suggested I present on. I just don't know what to present. So let's take a look here. Floor plans. Let's see now. Pull. Chessboard is not relevant here as far as I can tell. Single glove. The glove is invisible because of the picture we took. Okay. Or, or the, the ring, I mean, not the glove. A little too accurate, if you ask me. Surprised we didn't get the ring and the organizer earlier. Like he's got a weird looking ring. Probably need to write that down though. Hiding you scoundrel. Are we getting the breakdown now? <laughs> now he's in informal mode. Is that possible? The logic behind it is simple. Uh, doesn't make any sense. Like, in the room? Is that what they're saying? Like, yeah, no shit. Hopefully they're not going to get mad at me for this. Okay. got no evidence, do you? I feel like the word ain't is extremely powerful in the localization tool belt for these Phoenix Wright games. Uh, missing glove? I don't know. fits, I don't think. I guess I can try it. I've got max health. Take that! I guess the word ain't and the use or lack of use of contractions.
This is something else. What? <laughs> Sensor should have set off the alarm. or something and it's been broken for a while. See, I feel like that was a more interesting puzzle, right? Like, it's a reasonable thing for him to lie about. It's not a, like, trivially verifiable fact. But they gave it to the NPC to figure it out. I guess it's challenge too of like the basic format of pointing out contradictions that you always have to present something to do it but how would you have evidence in your organizer that would let you do it i guess you have three tools now you have logic chess which is paying attention to the way they're speaking or their animation you have the logic connector which is connecting two pieces of information or you have presenting something to them during their testimony so I feel like they could have let the player figure that one out. So convenient, I didn't want to report it. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, other ones are broken. Aw, oh, cute little guy. That's not good at all. Okay, that goes in the organizer. Someone else's bracelet's broken, too. Too early in the case. Yeah, that's been a big question in the beginning. It's a real stumper.
dog having a bell, I'm sure, is really important. Well, he just got his toupee back. Fiendish criminal. Special man who receives special treatment. Special cell. Who could it be? <laughs> Updating the floor plans, that's great. Oldest prisoner here. Past. Oh, is it Von Karma? I forget if Von Karma died or if he got arrested. There's a monkey on that hill. When you see stuff like this, you can really feel the tension rise. the cat. If I had this little guy with me, prison life wouldn't be so bad. I like the little green arrow there. Oh, you already saw this. Black. Spooky. <laughs> Pretty cool scene. voice. Tell me the dog is talking to you. Jesus Christ. Okay. Boss. I wonder if it was BO55 in the original Japanese or they trained they changed the art there. Sir Han Dogen. Sir Hondo? Sir Han Dogen. Former assassin, okay. Blind assassin, oh, he's got a little dog, okay. Normal, uh, you know, American assassin. Oh, he's accompanied by the sound of a... <laughs> Outstanding. I 
don't know the pun for this guy. Suspect your dog. I wonder if they did the whole, like, all of the prisoners have a special animal for animal therapy thing just so that this guy could have a dog that he brought with him from outside the prison. Do this. Oh, and he plays chess. Uh oh. Do the prisoners have free access to chisels? That seems like a really bad idea. You know, carving hundreds of Buddhist statues, just a thing that normal American prisoners do. I love the super piece he came up with. You should post that to our anarchy chess. <laughs> the Cerberus piece. <laughs> On the absence of dogs to be strange. plays by the normal rules of chess, and he shouldn't be on Anarchy Chess. Found piece data. That's an interesting setup. Of course they are. No wonder the Shadow Council of Lali Lule Lo prosecutors is on Edgeworth's ass. Looking at his face is a cool animation. Some of the 
prisoners here were convicted on false charges. True. That man. That person's name is... This <laughs> is his defining feature is that he hates prosecutors. Like a prosecutor like literally killed his dad or something. people from before. And Judge Courtney was pretty great. Other than the five chisels, but... Six gun, how you doing? Han Dogen. My plan is after the next save point, I'll try to make it to one more save point after that, and that should be a good stopping point. And there's one coming up really soon here. Good questions. Fox like spreading its arms with her, that's funny. I 
such a lovely room. Way to get into the passageway. Holding cell is pretty nice. Nicer than most of like studio apartments. Even a little privacy divider for the toilet. Wow. Camera. The footage of this camera. Like Edra's real superpower is the ability to weasel his way into jurisdiction over cases. Oh, yeah, I'm the defense attorney's assistant or something. I don't know, whatever. Something for dummies. Wonderful warden of ours. The hound whistler. The animal shack redemption. Get it. Prison life for dummies. Like the great escape in 80 days. It's the weird menu with like the cell. In the end, the world revolves around money. That's true. Doesn't this mean the rich won't have to reflect on their crimes? Yes. Crossword? It's a memo, okay. Okay, so was he the correspondent with uh, Dogen? That's cool. I'm going to compare that to Dogen's. Brook no pawn. He wrote that down. Seen something similar somewhere else. I wonder. At that spot now.
look at it, I guess. I like that they rotated the board to make it a little harder. That's nice. The hound piece. Rook, rook. Rook king, pawn, pawn, pawn. Pawn, pawn, pawn. Bishop, king. So yeah, the weird thing is the hound piece. Which is an L move from where the white rook is supposed to be. That's down to right one from the white rook. Pick the wrong spot again. Shit. Come on, let me go. I know. Music still wait, maybe we're okay. Chess is quite important to this investigation. For all the guy who died was a chess piece. different chess pieces. If you flip the board around, the positions of the chess pieces are completely the same. I like that. a good one i think like they did they did set up uh dogan's board like right before the scene but you know at least like the board was rotated 90 degrees i guess you could brute force it and just say oh chest to chest right it's a suit Paper. Interesting. Not as dirty as I thought it would be. No problems with the toilets. This nice little privacy divider. There's a little ball and chain tied to the chair. Oh really, I can't look at that? have one logic thing. Must have missed something. I already check this area. Nothing back there. Is it this on the floor? 
Okay, we notice that. Uh... Well, they just gave away. Why'd they give it away? I guess you only have two things to connect anyway, but. Spill grape juice. Hmm. We didn't want the guards to see. Hooray! I thought I was gonna get a save like immediately before coming here, so I might just go to the next save. We'll see what clock's looking like. Security camera recorded something terrible. Like how they put the mirror there so you could see something that's in the fourth wall. Oh my goodness. Honest to God animation. Dog. Should not be a dog. The dog was dragging the body there. We're in the holding cell here. It was in like the hallway, right? Maybe in the hallway or in the cell itself? He couldn't have left the room. Decisive evidence. Each piece of evidence takes on new meaning if the murder occurred in the holding cell. The floor being cleaned up? Probably. Someone wipe the floor clean. that old coot. So I like the idea that it's not Dogen at all. He's a red herring. long. Probably should have suspected it. They seem to really like to set this stuff up. So if they make mention a character, oh yeah, this reminds me of that guy. He's gonna come back right now. <laughs> you appreciate a good reminder. About two weeks ago. <laughs> Edgeworth is having a really busy month. You still have like a gunshot wound?
marks the coordinates, huh? They're no longer with me. Well, his assistant was the bad guy in the last one, so... Fellow agent, I guess. That was a good reveal. I did like the last case of the previous game. It was a very silly, campy setup with the, like, embassy. But I, I think that, like I said, this excels when it's campy. I should lean into that more. I'll press this matter any further. One of my uniforms has gone missing. Oh, damn. Better add that to the evidence. Okay, good. There would be like a throwaway line. the top like neck thing to make him look more like a knight that seems like that's a big fucking deal of okay whatever it's fine <laughs> yeah it's just like a lot of the like basic facts of the case have to be concealed for later points of the story in order for like a lot of the puzzles to work right like no one checked the security tape footage until Edgeworth. I guess him seeing it in the mirror. Eh, it's fine. Again, it's a gradient. It's you know somewhere between a one and a ten in terms of how like arbitrary and trivial it is. Okay. Is he like the fake prodigy then?
Prosecutors are civil servants to open a side business is to betray the goddess of law. Is like idiot music. Okay. Want to know my reasons for arresting that man? The answer is simple. He found traces of that guy over there. Perfectly simple, perfectly decisive. I was the first to notice it because I'm the best. Okay. Eat free, live free in prison. Get two angles on that sign. know who you arrested, right? Yes. Had a fatal reason for arresting Simon. face when she talks. It seems like she's more of a DA than a judge. I guess we'll see. Hold it. That guy. Best hears one thing and understands ten. Carried a chessboard. No shit, right? Like Simon brought it to him at his request. What? What is his point? Objection! Having the judge be like the boss of the prosecutor. You mean? Not a trump card at all. <laughs> I 
I think judge who is also essentially a prosecutor, I see. I guess the courtroom scenes, the judge is a like kind of administrative role and prosecutor is separate in this game anyway, these games. Yeah, so it's weird that that's in uh, Phoenix right there, right? It's here, like, she's the judge. She's not the prosecutor. Judges in the Phoenix Wright universe have historically been referees and not prosecutors. But here she's acting as this prosecutor guy's boss, sort of. But previously, the prosecutor's office didn't report to the judge at all in this series. Inside the chessboard. No, I think that in Japan, Phoenix Wright is supposed to take place in Japan, right? That's just a weird localization decision that they made in the first game that they decided to keep throughout all of them. That's why the localization is so goofy, because it'll have things that are clearly Japan, right? This clearly takes place in Japan, and they'll have to, like, you know, translate it in a way that makes it sound like, oh, no, this is just down the street here in California. Or to hide a weapon in the chessboard. I tried checking earlier. What an annoying laugh. I think these games would be improved with the voice acting. Okay, that's what I thought, Robin. On. Objection! Yeah, but the victim had it. What? <laughs> idiot hair going all alfalfa. Packages undergo a simpler check? That's okay, whatever. <laughs> 
right? Obvious the murder weapon was a sharp metal object. There could be no other explanation. That piece of information. Scissors. Hold it. What if it was a dog? Guy's like the perfect idiot to go up against. Hold it. Where did the murder weapon disappear to? Good question. Didn't they? Literally just, oh my god. The thing that says that it's not, right? Where is it? Uh, prison investigation? Completely forgotten your own actions? I guess here he's like actually supposed to be a complete idiot. Nice. The breakdown of him accidentally hitting himself in the face is pretty good. Amazed that you call yourself the best. Did you really think the best prosecutor would be shaken by someone miles behind him? That's actually quite good. Kay Faraday is far, far ahead. That's uh, not so good. <laughs> This one's like intentionally dumb, so it fits a bit better. It's just dumb. This guy, he really doesn't remember anything?
Yeah. <laughs> Be a pretty good one. So dumb, it's brilliant. No! I should be able to get that off Netflix. If it's short enough, we should be okay. I could upload it to YouTube and see if it gets flagged. Uh, it's the dog. I still have a feeling it's gonna be something different. Showed on the tape right there. The timing's really unfortunate here. I don't think I'll be able to finish the next part before. Even if I went to the full four hour stream. Cause this last part was like an hour and a half. So I'm probably gonna have to wrap here. So Max Knight, I'll just credit your bank and we'll keep working toward eventually. Playing more of this, I guess. But I really don't want to pause it in the middle of a scene or in the middle of a investigation. Okay, thank you. Love your Castlevania music and costume. a huge flaw in my reasoning. The Warden's Office. It's the Warden's Office. They showed us the map of the Warden's Office. It's the Warden's Office. I mean, the security footage really seems to suggest it was some kind of horrible animal, but... Goddess of Law. You also don't know how Simon entered the detention center. Do you really have evidence? I didn't mention he's just an employee. He's a circus performer, hence the monkey thing. Nani? The very big circus. The animal show. That's a pretty good twist. But it's another one of the things, like, probably should have established that when we talked to him, but whatever.
does is the twist come from someone having a good reason to lie and then realizing the lie or just like trivial facts being withheld? <laughs> <laughs> you could have okay whatever How do you like that worthless prosecutor? We'll take away your badge. I still feel like the security camera footage is, like, really damning, but whatever. It's none of your concern. Very different from the way of the prosecutor. Oh, that's the subtitle they came up with, the Prosecutor's Path. You didn't even know about your client's occupation. Okay, well, if they're making it a story point. I'm not owned. I'm not owned, Edgeworth says as he shrivels into a corn cob. He didn't lie, just that he's an employee. The Warden's Office. Check out the Warden's Office. It's the Warden's Office. Future Marstead, it's the Warden's Office. That's how you get from the prison... There's a door in there that leads into the courtyard. Um, things you should probably know uh, right now, the case is that uh, Horace Knightley, the chess guy from the first case, has been murdered from inside the prison. Uh, main characters to worry about, we've got uh, the blind assassin guy and his dog, who seem to be the red herring. I mean, maybe it's just him, but that that seems so obvious that it's true. It's probably something else going on. There's a security tape showing the dog biting his throat that might end up being something completely different. Um, there's Pat Roll. Patricia Rowland is the warden with the big coat. We need to see her break down at some point. Um, I think she's pretty suspicious. And you have the judge, uh, Justine Courtney, uh, who's pretty great, and the idiot prosecutor, Sebastian DeBest. Um but I think just kind of review your evidence if you're watching this a bit before stream, boot up the game and look at the uh, evidence log and the organizer and re-familiarize yourself with it. I am enjoying this game quite a bit. I think of all of the Phoenix Wright games, I'm liking this one the most. Um, and I think I like Miles Edgeworth one better than all the previous ones. So it's good to see that they keep getting better over time. So I'm excited to play more.